welcome to today's webinar from uh, Color Guard. Um, has this ever happened to you? You're at a party, you're sitting on the deck, you're talking to your friend over here, you put your drink on the rail and it falls down. Isn't that annoying? Well, what if there was a solution where you could have a deck rail that matched your deck, but you could also set your drink on? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today here with Kyle. Kyle's gonna show us everything that we need to know about um, the drink rails that come with several color guard systems. Um, we know you're going to have questions. We're going to be monitoring the Q&A and chat throughout the program here. Um, we're going to answer your questions at the end. So if you have anything, just put it in there and we'll get right to it. Um, I'm going to leave now because I'm also the cameraman. Um, but Kyle is going to get us started. Kyle, take us away. All right. So drink, drink rail is something that um, we recently offered starting about four or five years ago. And um, as I always like to joke in Wisconsin, we, we don't really need to worry about that because we're drinking beer. It doesn't get set down anyways until it's empty, right? So uh, it was a little bit newer concept for me, but uh, with that being said, it's something that a lot of people are looking for because um, who, likes, who doesn't like entertaining out on their deck when the weather's nice? Not so much in Wisconsin today. We had, no, we had 19 in snow this morning, so there was that. But so we offer um, two types of drink rails. One is for our vinyl railing, and we offer that um, with our Savannah, which is the drink rail kitted version. Is and we also offer it for our Florence railing, is a Tuscany railing uh, kitted with drink rail brackets. So uh, for vinyl, we offer um, several different lengths of um, of railing, two different types, uh, fully kitted for drink rail. Okay. Now, for our aluminum railing, we do not fully kit that. So you order our Lincoln railing or our soon uh, to be released Grand Prix railing. And you'll get an accessory package with brackets and hardware inside. Okay. And I'll show you how each of these mount. I'll go through vinyl first and then we'll go through aluminum, but that's just the difference in brackets. Um, we'll require you to um, trim your post down. Okay, so um, railing height for code is 30, uh, 34 to 38. And uh, um, our, our posts at the top are at 38. So you, if you wanna do an over the post version, You'll have to trim your post down. You can also do it um, between the posts. So you can leave the post at the regular height and then you can put your deck board or whatever you're gonna use for your topper in between. Um, but for this, for this uh, 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 explanation, I'm gonna do um, just a continuous rail over the top. I think it's a lot cleaner look and uh, that seems to be what most people are doing these days anyway. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is mount the end bracket for vinyl, okay? So for a vinyl railing, we have uh, two end brackets in the package and five straps. Now on this one, it's less than six feet. So we're gonna have um, the two end brackets and then we ask that you put your straps out every two feet, okay? So in this instance, we're just gonna put one in the center but I'll show you how to mount these. So it's just a cradle bracket. It's just a cradle like that. And, um, and you're gonna take, you got two mounting screws. You're gonna take it and you're gonna center it on the post. And then you're gonna go ahead and run your screw in. So if you notice what I did there, I ran it in and back out and then back in again. That's an installation trick for installing with Patriot Post. We'll cover that in another webinar.
Okay, so now that we have our end brackets mounted, we're gonna put the trim caps on, one for each screw. And those press into place like so. Some are easier than others. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the installation by using our side install screws to finish securing the bracket to the rail. These are the ones with the pop caps, right? Yes, that's correct. Pop the cap right off. So there's that. Let's try that again. Good time to have one of those things that comes up with technical difficulties. And pop your cap on them. So, okay. Now, when you have the strap, when you have the strap, you're gonna mount that in the center. So, we want it every two feet. I already measured this beforehand. This is less than two feet in between here. So, I'm just gonna put it right in the center. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run these side screws in again on this bracket. Snap the cap, do the other side, and then that bracket is complete. He's just going with a standard Phillips set, right? Correct. That's just a standard Phillips drive. The two screws for the end bracket are a number two square drive. Okay. Okay. So now that's complete. We're going to go through and we're going to do the aluminum drink rail brackets. So like I mentioned before, these brackets will come in the kit. These brackets here are going to be sold separately. They're going to be sold as an accessory. They don't come kitted in a, in a rail section. And so when you go to mount these, you're gonna mount one on each end, right in front of the bracket, and then you're gonna mount every two feet in between for support, okay? So again, I pre-measured this, so we're gonna mount one right in the center. That'll cover us. When you go to install this bracket, you're gonna to wanna to pre-drill, okay? It's gonna make it a lot easier to uh, run your screws in. Okay. Also good to have two drills. Yes, that also helps. These screws also take a number two square drive. Okay, and then we're gonna mount the one in the center. So we're gonna look, it's about halfway in between. And then we'll pre-drill this one as well. screw in and then you repeat the same for the back side. Okay. So once we have that done, now we're going to determine, you, well, you should have already predetermined what you want to use for your deck board material or for your drink rail topper material. Okay. So we're going to, we have a deck board that we already, we already decided we're going to use here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do some more pre-drilling. Okay. So I've got some taper head screws. 
to match our brackets. And I'm going to do some pre drilling. Making sure, of course, not to go through the top of the board. Yeah, don't drill all the way through, just enough to get it started. And this one you cut on an angle, assuming that there would be another one that would go here. Right? Yes. So uh, I, I cut this board, and I'll show you the other end in just a minute. But I mitered this end to show you that this would be a corner post. And you'd continue with another miter and continue on that way to give you a clean transition at the corner. And then there's another way you can do it when you had a, have a terminal post where you're terminating the run. There's another way you can do it to kind of make it aesthetically pleasing as well. With deck boards with live edges, um, it does get a little tricky, but there are ways to make it look nice if you, if you just take the time. So I'm taking my tapered head screws and I'm gonna attach the end rail here. So, and then we'll do the same for these other two brackets mm -hmm. on the vinyl section. So I'm gonna pre-drill this. Just enough to get a start. Like so, okay. okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same for the aluminum. So there's really no difference in attaching that board, vinyl versus aluminum. They are both installed the same way. Okay. Um, while we're over here, I can show you the difference. So mm -hmm. here's what you can do uh, to finish off on, a, on the end of a termination or a, a terminal post. You can miter these ends and round this off just a little bit and it still gives it a pretty clean look. Um, that way you're not just running into a square edge, right. just gives it a, a little bit cleaner look. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill all three of these. Okay. This just attaches the same way. Correct, yep, just attaches the same way. No real difference there. nice to do one of these outside not today not well, today not, not in today. wisconsin today no, maybe wisconsin. maybe down south today but yeah. not not in wisconsin give us a thumbs up if you want us to do one of these in florida we'll come down and visit you i would be glad to <laughs> <laughs> okay so other than installing the screws on the other side mm -hmm. your drink reel is now complete okay so Again, in Wisconsin, we don't like to put our beer down, Yes. but now you don't have a problem of your drink falling off the rail. Oh yeah, look at that. You can put it to the edge, all the way in the middle. Cheers. All right. That was nice and easy. Well, you made it look easy. Allegard makes it look easy. Allegard makes it look easy. Nice, <laughs> Kyle. Nice. All right, let's see if we have any questions over here real quick. Sorry for the jerky camera movements. Uh, okay, so we do. Uh, let's see here. So, can you install these brackets with Patriot post mounts? And I think believe that we just did. You can. So that's what I did here. Um, this post and this post are both uh, utilizing Patriot posts. Mm -hmm. um, the Patriot post will need to be modified to to reach a thirty six inch height. Okay. okay? So um, I did shave down the post a little bit, modified the fillers inside with a different mounting hole. Um, it didn't, it maybe took me 10 minutes. We used a bandsaw to trim it down and then covered up the raw edge just to keep it from, from rotting out. So, um, so that is, that is, that is an option. Um, most of these are installed with wood posts, but there will be an instance where you're going to run into a, a Patriot post installation. Right. It can be done. Okay. 
Um, same thing here, there's instructions. And, and here it's a little deceiving because I mounted these all at the same height, but typically Lincoln will install a little bit differently than vinyl. I just did it all the same height to keep the continuous top rail here. There's instructions in the aluminum drink rail brackets on what height to cut this post to. Same thing with the vinyl, okay? It is a little bit different just because of the way the system mounts. Uh, this collar goes up a little bit higher than some of our other collars. Mm -hmm. So um, I end up having to trim the baluster shorter just for this display. But in, in the field, you won't have to do that. There's instructions on how to mount it if you're doing an entire aluminum railing system, okay? All right. Uh, what colors are the clips or the, yeah, the drink rail brackets? Available? So at this time, um, we are offering white only in vinyl. Uh, we are in development of tan and clay, um, but it's not, it's not going to be until later on uh, in 2022. In 22. Um, for aluminum, we offer black, white, and bronze, the same as our standard railing colors. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you, I mean, we always hate to recommend that you could paint the vinyl, but if you, you, worst you case could, scenario. You could paint the vinyl, yes. Um, that's not something that we recommend, um, but it is something that you could do in the meantime. Okay. Great. Um, oh, this is one that I've actually seen on the website a lot. Um, how do you match your deck with the deck rail? Well, if you're doing a retrofit, that becomes a little more challenging. Um, you have to remember what type of decking you bought to begin with, otherwise you're gonna have to buy something close. If you're doing a typical install, uh, like for instance here, let's just say this was a retrofit, okay? So we have a different type of decking down here, but I found something that matches it pretty close that I mounted up on the top, okay? So that's something you can do. Otherwise, while you're having the deck installed, make sure your builder or your, your contractor orders enough of the material to cover the top of the rail as well. That way everything matches, it's concurrent, and, uh, and you can get it all done at the same time. Okay. Uh, the other one I know we get, and I don't think we got this one yet, but what type of screws do you use? Okay, so for it depends on what material you're going into. So in this case, a deck board, you're, you're going to want to use a tapered head screw. Um, in this instance, this is what I used. It's just a tapered head Phillips. And um, you're going to, whatever, whatever the thick, it really depends on the thickness of your material and what you're going into, okay? So in this instance, we used, we used the deck board. You want it to be less. Right, yep. Yeah, so you want it to be, and, and of course you take into account the, the thickness of the bracket. So, you know, you're looking at about there. Yeah. Okay, so um, you you want to take into account the thickness of your material and it's going to need to be a tapered head because all the brackets have a, have a tapered mounting point for attaching the, the rail. Okay. All right. I did see a notification. We got one more question that came in. Remember, if you want to ask a question, just post it in the chat or um, hit us hit the Q and A button. Uh, so, yeah. Do I have to use deck railing? Could I use a piece of live edge lumber as deck rail? Absolutely. You can use you can use pretty much whatever you want. Um, a lot of people have, will still do wood decks, uh, especially if you're in a uh, area where there's like a lot, a lot of scenery, a lot of trees, uh, things like that. You want your deck to look a little more natural. Um, so a lot of folks will still use a wood deck. You can absolutely use live edge lumber as your top rail as well. There, there's going to be special treatments for the wood um, that you'll want to do uh, to ensure that it uh, ensures longevity. But um, you can, absolutely can use live edge lumber on there as well. Okay. All right. Uh, we've got no more questions, so we're going to give everybody a little bit of time back in their day. Um, Kyle, you want to tell us the website and sign us off? Colorguardrailing.com, and uh, any questions or comments, feel free to feel free to send those along as well. Always looking for feedback from everybody. So, thank you for attending. <laughs>